Are you looking for more tips to help your child learn how to spell? If you are, I have three new ones for you today. My name is Kathleen and I'm a dyslexic here to help other dyslexics. I help busy, overwhelmed parents understand their child's frustration with dyslexia so they can support, encourage, and empower them. Spelling is tricky for dyslexics because we're talking about English here and English is made up of so many different languages. So we are pulling from all different backgrounds and roots and so English is very complicated and English has rules for rules and it's just so frustrating. And so one of the things that we have to figure out is ways to make it easier to learn how to spell to follow the rules. And we know that dyslexics process information on the right side of the brain instead of the left side of the brain. And through this, the journey of that information takes longer to get to where it needs to go. And one of the things that research has shown is that it needs to happen through different types of sensory. And we have found that it works best when you engage several senses at the same time, which is called multi-sensory. So here are three multi-sensory and just fun tips to help your child better understand those weekly vocabulary spelling words. So tip number one is shaving cream. We all love shaving cream and it is so much fun. So just buy the cheapest shaving cream you can, not name brand, just the cheapest you can find and just put like a small dollop either on the table or in a plastic container. If you want to contain the mess, put it in a plastic container. If you want to help clean your countertops, then shaving cream on the countertops because it does really help clean. So just a dollop, have them spread it out, play with it for a little bit, and then have them spell every single word. So you say the word cat, they say cat, they write cat in the shaving cream, then they clear it, and then they write the next one, dog, D-O-G, dog, and then clear it. It's very easy, it's very fun, kids love it, it's a great sensory activity because they're hearing it, they're getting to see it, and they're getting to write it, and they're engaging the sense of touch through the shaving cream. Tip number two is use mnemonics. So mnemonics can be a fun, easy way to come up with a silly sentence to help you remember how to spell the word. So an example of this could be play. So play, P-L-A-Y. So please learn and yell. Simple, easy, funny, it sticks. Then when your child goes to take the test, the teacher says play, and they think about it. Please learn and yell. P-L-A-Y, play. And there you have it. This is the last one I have for you. So tip number three when it comes to spelling is to look for smaller words within the word. And it becomes much easier to say. So when, you have hen in it, H-E-N. And for me to learn how to spell my last name, my maiden name, growing up, it really, really helped. So my maiden name is Landreth. And Landreth has land in it. So I was able to learn how to spell land, L-A-N-D. Then we were able to tack on R-E-T-H. Learning how to spell my first name and my last name was a huge, huge chore. But when we were able to take that and put smaller words and pull them out of the bigger word, it became much easier to spell. So if you can look at the word and find a smaller word in it, it becomes much easier to build the larger word around it. So go ahead and try that one. I hope you found these three spelling tips useful. 
If you did and you would like more, I'm going to go ahead and link this because this is part of a three-part series. I'm going to link the first one I did like two weeks ago, and then I'm going to link the one I did last week right here for you. So go ahead and check those out and enjoy those videos because I've come up with 15 ways to help your child learn how to spell easier using multi-sensory. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, go ahead and grab my resource library. That's right, it contains five free resources for you to instantly grab. How to make multi-sensory easy, 101 tips for parents, a dyslexia guide, an IEP planner, and the list goes on. There are five wonderful resources to get you started to better understanding dyslexia. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.